Alright, this one's going to be for PSP owners. I recently just got a PSP, uh, so I'm new to this PSP hacking shit. But I tried to search on YouTube for, you know, videos uh, to hack my PSP uh, on either Wine or Linux, and I didn't really see any. Uh, most of them were on Windows, and most of them were crap. Like, I can't even see what the hell they were doing, like crappy ass quality, or that they, they didn't even speak. Like, I'm supposed to read their mind or something. Uh, anyways, uh, this one is, um, what we're going to do is we're going to hint our um, PSP and then we can play like our backup games and all that. Uh, this one requires that you have 6.20 as your firmware, okay? Go into your PSP and look under uh, system settings or something like that to confirm that you have that shit. Um, but we're going to use this uh, Total Knob version B, which is the latest one. And the first time I did it was manually, but someone actually made the, the installer for this. Uh, so you're gonna need Wine, okay? So if you're on Mac or something, just get Wine, and this should work. But basically, this program is just gonna put in, um, you know, the right files in, into your memory stick, and, and that's it. So like I said before, make sure you have 6.20. If you have anything else, don't be an idiot, okay? Uh, so I'll go next, and agree next. Now I'll click on change here. Uh, you're not trying to find your, where your, um, you know, your your memory uh, card is at. Uh, so it's in your root folder and it's in our media folder. Uh, expand that. It should be called disk, and, and that's it. You hit OK. Now it's gonna change it to like drive M or whatever the hell it says. It's gonna try to emulate the Windows shit. And you click next, and that's it. You're done. It will install all the files into the right places. Uh, what is this that you're curious? It says PSP uh, uh, Go and uh, 2000 and 3000 series. I guess that's the only one it works for. So click next and you're done. All right, I already have it, so I'm gonna cancel it out. Uh, so that's all you gotta do for that. Now it comes with like almost everything. It doesn't come with everything. Uh, so let me open my memory card here. So here we're on on the disk. Now it comes with like you know all the files for you to do. Uh, the total knob B version to hack it. So hopefully you know how to do that with the Patapon uh, demo hack. But I'm not gonna talk about it. Uh, I'm assuming you know how to do that already. Anyways, uh, it has everything, but it doesn't have a uh, a ISO loader, which is what you need to play like uh, you know your ISO games and whatever. I recommend getting a Prometheus or whatever ISO loader you want. So here's the one I use, Prometheus. Um, I'll post that in the description somewhere if you want to download it. But uh, what you gotta do is take uh, extract it and, and uh, put this folder into what is it here? Your PSP, your uh, game folder. So just drag and drop that in here, and now you have that there. If you have like if you want to play like emulators like uh, SNES, uh, you know Sega, whatever, you just drag that folder in here. Uh, like I have this uh, SNES 9X here. And uh, you can put your ROMs in here, like I have a few. Now the thing is, at the, this latest version here, uh, it doesn't run so well. Some games runs okay, like Super Mario World, but like other games like Mortal Kombat, it didn't really run well, or Street Fighter. It was kind of laggy, so not all games are really great um, with this uh, emulator. So you get what you get. But basically, you, what you really want to do is play games, you know, with the... Uh, Prometheus ISO loader. So they actually have this ISO uh, folder uh, on your your uh, root uh, file on your memory stick. Is this ISO folder? Now what you put, do is put all your ISOs here or your CSOs, okay? Uh, and it'll run uh, either or. Just uh, load up your Prometheus loader from your PSP and uh, boot and then play. Now, not all games work. I tried some other games, didn't all work, but uh, majority of it uh, did work. So that was great. But uh, you know, it's a trial and error kind of thing. Anyways, that's all you gotta do. Okay, so you need Y, and you make sure you have 6.20 uh, TN, uh, you know, B version here. Uh, so that's it for this one.